guys, so this is Info Pro 757 Airsoft, and this is going to be a review of my custom class garment that we cured. So, first off, I really like this gun. She's about three, in between three, um, 125 FPS and 350 FPS. Um, some of the external upgrades I did to, oh, she's about between 30 and 35 a second. And, uh, yeah, you'll see the shooting test after the review, like later in this video. So the external upgrades I did to it is I put a 10 inch free float Novesky rail system on it a, and a uh, matrix 8 inch suppressor it starts like right there inside the rail system. Uh, still have the stubby stock on it and the stubby outer barrel length and that's how I was able to get the uh, suppressor coming out of the rail system. And then I run this with the AFG and a uh, flashlight, say 300 lumen, and then if I, it's all the way back right now, and then as I go push it more forward, it gets more focused. So I like that feature, adjustability. Um, yeah, it's got a metal body, and uh, if you haven't checked out the review on this, when I was like stock, uh, go do that. And uh, yeah. So the internal upgrades I have on this is I have a um, Echo One Magnum motor, a full, I'm not, I forgot what brand it was, it was a, it's a full metal tooth piston, SHS high speed gears, and I have a GB601 barrel, I'm trying to trade it for a 603, I don't, I bought this gun used and I'm not sure why the previous owner put a 601 in it and it shot so fast, so I mean that's just, I don't know, because if it jams, since it can't, since the piston can't really strip, it's going to destroy the entire gearbox. And uh, it's got a metal hop up, a garter bucking, and uh, I think that's it for the gearbox and the uh, upgrades and stuff. So, one thing that I really like about this gun is how, how light it is. I mean, it's a little bit front heavy with this little flashlight on here, but. Other than that, it's it's a pretty balanced gun. It's pretty small for turning corners and stuff, and it's uh it's pretty compact. And the inner barrel actually only goes to the end of the rail system, so I'm trying to get a longer six or three. And uh, also, I like the stubby stock because it's uh, I don't like it because I it feels a little uncomfortable when I shoulder it. But I like that you're able to put a bigger battery in there, and also it's wired to Dean's with this uh, yellow wiring, which is Blackjack's so like upgraded wiring. And I run it with a Tenergy 11-1, 1600 mile 20 C lipo. I have two of them. Yeah. So uh, I like that feature of the stubby shop, and uh, yeah. Uh, also. The only, like the reason I don't have any sights on here is because I think it just looks fl more flush just like this. Unless they're like flip up sights, which I don't have any flip up sights. I have like one flip up rear, but I don't have a front. So that kind of sucks. So yeah, um, obviously I did the paint, well I didn't do the paint job. Cobra did the paint job for me. I take like a snake, snake skin, tan, green, uh, brown kind of thing. Yeah, it looks a lot better than the old paint job. Uh, check out the old review and you'll see the old paint job on on it. Uh, yeah. And I mainly use this gun with barrel games a lot just because it's uh, barrel games are more CQB than like uh, the op or whatever. And I you know it's just like 320 FPS to or 325, 350, so it's not gonna hurt that bad. And then it also has a flashlight on it, and it's compact for turning corners and stuff. Stuff. Um, so yeah. And uh, here's the shooting test. Hey guys, this is Impact Predator 757 Airsoft, and this is the uh, shooting test of the my custom classic army. Um, so yeah. Um, one thing I forgot to mention was that my friend Tanner he built this most of it like the gears and the piston and all that junk and uh yeah uh, so check him out uh message him on facebook or i guess you don't know his last name but anyway if you uh see us at bow hack 
uh, if you point it, we'll point them out for you if you want. And uh, it's a great tech, and yeah. So first I'm gonna do simming. That's about 60 feet away. So, yeah. It's a little windy out and I forgot to adjust my hop up all the way. Oh yeah, and this is using 0.25 gram BBs, and so here's the full auto. Well, all right, three, two, one. Yeah, so that's a that's a really high rate of fire. Yeah. Uh, it's faster than my KWA. Um. So yeah, thanks for watching, and uh, actually we got to go look at the target. So. See you in a second. So here's the target. Um, quite a bit missed. Actually, that's because um, the wind was taking them right before they hit the target. Couple like two feet before they hit the target. But uh, once I got that, like once I accommodated for that, uh, a lot of most of them hit. That's why I see most of them on the right side because the wind is blowing towards over there. So. Uh, yeah, some got stuck in the target. Most of them passed through. Um, and just in case you don't know, like here's goggles. That's how big that is. So, yeah. Um, make sure to rate, comment, and subscribe. Let me know what you think of the gun.